Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. And is the the day three of D7. And I'm not sure who's gonna be next. Oh yeah, we we have to try it out. Do you do this every day? Yeah, that's why you couldn't see that the sun's in your eyes! I trust you slept well? Sounds like the same story for everyone. I got up first today, so I took a walk around and picked some fruits for our breakfast. And Paimon's been waiting for you to get up so she can finally dig in! Huh? Fisha left? First thing in the morning? Yeah, she seemed unwilling to stay with us. She said she had some other work to do for the Adventurers Guild. A likely story! What happened to coming here to restore the glory of the Immernachtreich? Now she has guild work to do all of a sudden? Judging by that look on her face, there was probably something on her mind. We tried sending Mona to comfort her like before. But she said Mona doesn't understand the work of the Adventurer's Guild and can't go with her. She didn't even make up some excuse about the Immer Nachtreich to get some time alone? Huh. That's out of character for her. Then she must be feeling quite troubled. I'd love to help her as a friend. But she was right about one thing. We're going to explore another island today. Oh, you yeah, so. And by the way... I'm like, I think, yeah, I'm one thing away from unlock fish skin, and I think that's why, if you collect all the available ones, and now it's one of these guys, even Mona or Shenyan gonna be, and gonna have the last one needed. Yep, votes are in. It's unanimous. Oh, yeah, about that. Paimon went ahead and voted for you. She said since you're always together, her opinion counts as yours and vice versa. <laughs> well, you're an adventurer after all. Paimon knew you'd want to go exploring. Fischl said there's something she wants to investigate and suggested that we all go ahead in the meantime. She told me not to worry. She'll catch up with us when she's done. Despite her quirks, she's still an experienced adventurer. I think we should trust her. I haven't known her for long, so this is just an observation, but it seems like she's struggling with some internal conflict. Hmm, that seems about right. In conflict with others, you either resolve it or let it be. But when the conflict is within yourself, it's much harder to do either. I've also had a time like that in my life, so I understand what she's going through. It may be best to give her some space. I agree. Still, it's a pity for today's adventure. Adventuring is always more fun when everyone's together. Chinyan always has great team spirit. Oh, one other thing. This morning, we saw a barrage on the island in the north. We can go take a look once you're done with your breakfast, Traveler. This island looks pretty normal. I smell something burning on the wind. Ugh. My sky glass is getting clearer, but I still can't see much. 
Hey, look what I found. It's a... Well, is it a drum or a plant? An instrument made of a plant? Hmm. Xinyan, do you think this could be your island? Oh, you mean this instrument could have been put here just for me? Okay, let me give it a try. Uh, hold on. When I touched the rock garden in the bonsai yesterday, we were all transported to another space. Xinyan, do you want to take some time first to get ready? You're right, but it's all good. I'm always ready to make some music. <laughs> well, Paimon just got a mouthful of dirt! Paimon, are you okay? Just as we thought. We've been sent to another place. Why does this place feel so bleak? Xinyan, are you sure this is your mirage? I think so, yeah, but... You're right. Why is it so bleak here? Look, there's something really bright over there. It's almost like it's inviting us to go check it out. Okay, let's go have a look. Wait, wait, wait! This is too obvious! Surely it's gotta be a trap! That well may be, but there's also nowhere else for us to go. If this mirage belongs to Xinyan, I don't think we'll find any traps here. Now you're talking. You know that wouldn't be my style. Hmm. That makes sense. Ah, all right, let's go then. But let's also make sure to be careful. The door is locked. So now you actually bring up the fact that she can do the water. Okay, this is inconsistent because yesterday, Mana and Fisher just argue who can swim. And now you bring up this? Keep your nonsense to yourself, thank you very much. Shinyan? Why did you lock the door? You'd think I'd know this. <laughs> oh, actually, I usually put my key under the flower pot next to the door, so maybe the key is nearby. Oh, is there a flower pot around here? I guess it's worth a shot. What is that?
I hear music. This place really is dedicated to music. Wow! So we did get the key from the plant! Oh, the puzzles in Shinyan's Mirage seem way easier than Kazuha's. Well, his life experiences are far richer than mine. <laughs> you flatter me. Visitors. Ah, it talks. Paima knows, but this is different. Hi. We touched those drum like plants growing on the beach outside and we're transported here. Uh, are you the owner of this place? This is the Hall of Music, and I'm merely its gatekeeper. Tell me, my friends, are you here to pursue the ultimate expression of music? Oh, you betcha. Then tell me, what do you hope to express with music? <laughs> the spirit of resistance. Right on, great answer. I'm so glad to hear that. I consider myself very lucky to meet another musician with the same ideals. Hearing giant flowers get along well with Shinyan. People who are easy to get along with make friends wherever they go. Well, if you've made it this far, you must wish to venture deeper into the Hall of Music. However, I must apologize. My singing voice is required for entry, but unfortunately my pipes are a little dry. Are you alright? Do you need, uh, some cold medicine or something? It's just that I haven't had any glacial spring water in a very long time. If I could drink some of that, my voice would be rocked and loaded and ready to clear your path. Uh, glacial spring water? Yeah, with one sip of that, anyone could sing the most beautiful song. No matter if they were a weary adult, a sleepy bird, or even an ignorant child. Oh. Okay, I'll find some for you. Where is this spring? Oh, thanks. You're the best. Well, spring water helps plants grow up strong so they can scale the mountains that lie in their way, so I imagine the spring can be found somewhere on the mountain range protected by plants. You mean we have to go hiking? Oh, Paimon thought some seawater would be enough. Uh, spring water and seawater could not be more dissimilar. Oh, but you may need my powers in order to see the spring. Give me your hand, friend, so that you can see through my eyes. Thanks. You shook my hand. Guess that makes this friendship official. Whoa, we're out! Ooh, it's much brighter here. I, I didn't mind that hot cave, though. Glacial spring water can be found on one of the mountains around here. Let's all look for it. Wait, how can there be light coming from below the ground here? Is this a water vein? Well, according to that flower, the water vein is related to the plants, and the plants will lead us to that spring. So I guess we should follow the water veins. You know, I guess I actually changed the, the island too. You know. Hello.
Everyone, I found a note here. Albedo? Wait a minute. So this was what he's doing here. Oh, so that's how it is. What an interesting island. Look at this style and signature. It's from Albedo. He's one of our friends from Mondstadt. He's an amazing alchemist who's visited this island before. He left this note here for future adventurers. I wonder if we did... Again, another moment when you are kind of curious. If we didn't do that, do they gonna say this or say different? Oh, so it's him. He's saying this whole island has been turned into an instrument? Amazing! And the underground water veins play an important part, too. Oh, maybe we need to clear all the water veins to play this island. Ah, uh, clean your instrument before the performance. Makes a lot of sense. These plants look a lot like the ones we saw in the cave. spring water we're looking for so if you drink this you can suddenly sing like an angel you should give it a try if you're curious oh no 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 I I'm terrible at singing it would be um, extremely embarrassing if it didn't work <laughs> oh Mona I actually think you've got a sweet voice that's well suited for singing if you're interested I can teach you a few things about vocals once we get back to camp. Oh, really? I... I'd love to. But you'd have to promise you won't laugh at me. Of course not. Everyone's gotta start somewhere, right? Right. Then maybe I can give it a try. Great! <laughs> but before that, we should deliver the spring water to that flower. Okay. Well, to re-enter the mirage, we just need to touch the drum on the beach again. This is the glacial spring water you were looking for. Ah, <sighs> I'm feeling a lot better now. Thank you very much. Now, I'll send you to your destination. I think we've arrived at a mountain near Liyue. But it's so dark here. Wait, listen. There's a voice. Can you hear that? The reason the birds sing so sweetly is because they drink the spring water from up in the mountaintops. Xinyan. We're not singers in this family. None of us are. What makes you think you can be any different? Oh, 
know. So I just need to go drink some of this spring water, and then I'll be able to sing? Oh, I'll be right back, Mama. You mustn't stay out so late in the mountains by yourself, child. You scared the bejesus out of me. Here, this is the spring water you were looking for. Really? Oh, you're the best, Daddy. Oh, where did she run off to this time? To find somewhere she could sing, no doubt. Ugh. She can't be persuaded, and we can't stop her from walking out the door. Did you really have to lie to her like that? How was I supposed to know she'd go running off looking for spring water? Oh, when is she gonna come to her senses? Get down from there! You can't set up a stage here! If you can't sing, you should be keeping your mouth shut. Not putting on a public performance. Ugh. Don't tear down the stage! Follow my lead! Shen Yen, my dear child. Why are you playing that crass instrument again? It's not ladylike. Oh, Shinyan, your mother has asked me to teach you some embroidery when I can find the time. Oh, it's an elegant and enjoyable craft. Just come to Annie's house whenever you're free. Quit making that racket by the side of the road. If you have to play, play something classy. What? Why are they being so mean? Oh, these people. <sighs> <laughs> and now you're laughing? Aren't you mad? Sometimes it's hard to get mad when you hear the same thing a hundred times. <laughs> Still, thanks, Paimon. Uh, what? Auntie Jishong, how are you doing? Oh, dear child, I've been waiting to hear from you for a long time. This weekend, I'll be free. Auntie, stop thinking about me for a hot sec. Your stove is still on and you're cooking soup, right? Oh, so you see, it's all burnt. Oh, how did this happen? <laughs> okay, I gotta lie. It is. You got so used to a family that you actually learned how to leave them from annoying you anymore. Okay, I really like this. Oh my, Uncle Jew, Little Jew is playing in the mud by the river again. Didn't you tell him not to do that? What? That rascal is up to his old shenanigans behind my back again, is he? Oh, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, sorry, Uncle High. I'll move my stage someplace else. But your musical taste needs to evolve if you want to keep up with the times. Maybe you didn't know, but even the most famous opera singer in Leo likes listening to my boorish music. What did you say? Is that true? You're not making this up, are you? <laughs> I'll have to look into this. <sighs> They're all gone. See? Knowing the right words to say and when to smile can solve almost any problem. <laughs> if that's the case, then what's your rock and roll spirit for? My rock and roll spirit isn't something I just use to win an argument. That'd be a real waste. Rock and roll is a revolution. Transforming your identity and destiny, saying goodbye to concessions and cowardice, it does them all. And most importantly, it lets you do it with art rather than words. My rock and roll has an unbreakable spirit, like a flame in a rainstorm that refuses to go out or the magma that never stops boiling under the surface of the land. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go that way. There's a side path right there. What a great mindset you have. If anyone ever called me anything less than a genius, I'd be furious. Really? 
I'm almost tempted to give it a shot. <laughs> Ona is glaring at me. <laughs> Paimon, there's a difference between embracing the spirit of rock and roll and playing with fire. To tell you the truth, I'm also starting to develop an interest in rock and roll. Seriously? Well, this better not be a joke. No, I'm serious. Rock and roll's ability to cultivate such a strong will in people is an incredible thing. <laughs> 